So computers are a long way from understanding us. As humans, we interact with each other through our faces and our gestures. We interact with the environment through our hands and our bodies. And computers will never take a place among us as equal partners in a sense until they understand us and how we behave, how we interact with each other, how we interact with the environment. And so a key goal of the Perceiving Systems Department is to train computers to see us, to see our behavior, to understand us, understand what it, what it is we're doing. This all begins with data, which we capture here in our capture pump. This data is combined with new machine learning algorithms, in particular deep neural networks, to train computers to see us in images and video. And so from an image or a video, the computer can then extract the motion of the person, the shape of their body, and the contact with the environment, and maybe even their emotional state and what it is they're trying to achieve. And so it all begins here in the capture hall. Welcome to our capture hall at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Tübingen, the heart of the Perceiving Systems Department. Researchers from all over the world work here on training computers to see and understand us the way we perceive each other. But how can we teach computers to see us? The first step is to capture the three-dimensional human body in motion. We do so by capturing different people in different poses and using this data to train a human body model. To study humans in ways that were never before possible, we commissioned the world's first 4D full body scanner. 4D means the 3D shape in motion. 66 high resolution cameras capture the body from various viewpoints to allow the reconstruction of the 3D shape and motion. We capture the form and the texture of the body. The scanner allows us to capture up to 60 frames per second. Such raw data is used to generate statistical body models or avatars. These are then used to train computers to understand human pose and motion in images and videos. The body's reconstruction is very detailed with several hundred thousand vertices in space. But some problems require an even higher resolution. Fine details in our facial expressions and hand gestures are important when we communicate with each other or interact with the environment. This is why we capture them with a high resolution in our scanners for faces, hands and feet. In our face scanner, we capture detailed dynamic data with up to 60 frames per second. You can see one of the reconstructions here. We can capture even minute changes in the facial expression. The goal is to understand the natural appearance and the motion of the human face. We use our hands constantly. We communicate through gestures and manipulate objects in our surroundings. We grab, carry, touch in many different ways. Capturing hands in motion is a very challenging computer vision problem. The scan data we collect helps us understand better how we interact with the physical world. It is not enough to study the human body in isolation. We are constantly in contact with the environment, with objects, with other people. This is why we use capture technologies that allow interactions and more freedom in space. In our motion capture system, we can capture multiple people who move freely and interact with objects and with each other. 54 high-resolution infrared cameras track the positions of reflective markers in space that are attached to the bodies, to the clothing, or to objects. The system has the highest camera density in Europe, allowing us to capture markers as small as 3 mm. This way, we can capture facial expressions and hand gestures without affecting them through big, bulky markers. The reconstruction of the motion of the bodies and the object can be seen here in real time. We also use multiple high resolution cameras to capture high speed video. They can be precisely calibrated and synchronized with other systems. We are not restricted to the confined space of a laboratory. 
Set up on tripods, these cameras can be used at any location, indoors and outdoors. Powerful LED lights at the top of the structure enable good lighting conditions for high-speed video. The data we collect enables us to teach computers how we look and how we move. This neural network is trained to reconstruct the person's body shape and pose, including facial expression and hand gestures from a single image. This application represents the current state of the art. Technology like this enables computers a form of sight and has wide applications in many industries and areas of science. Our algorithms are used in medicine, psychology and sports. There is also great demand in the fashion industry and entertainment. With our technologies and expertise here in Tübingen, in Germany, in Europe, we are able to contribute to the worldwide development of computer vision research. We have an impact beyond academia through successful spin-off companies. Major companies all over the world license and use our technologies. Digitalizing the human body is of great importance and we are proud of our department's contribution to the field. We see vision as the process of inferring the causes and motivations behind the images that we observe the story behind the picture. And the most interesting stories involve people. <laughs>